On this Monday Morning Minute, we're going to discuss how to best set up your Ventrac tractor to operate on hillsides. As a reminder, before you watch the rest of the video, make sure you read your operator's manual. It's important. It goes through all of this information in fine detail. And if you understand this and how the tractor works, you'll experience the best results possible. All right, let's get it going. Number one, make sure you're an experienced operator. If you can familiarize yourself with the tractor on flat ground before you attempt to mow hills, you'll be way better off. The next tip is to be aware of the immediate conditions you're about to work on. You wanna make sure it's not too wet or too dry. You wanna make sure there's no holes or ruts, divots, things that you have to avoid. You also wanna make sure that the hill doesn't exceed the slope rating of the tractor, which is 30 degrees if you have dual wheels. And speaking of duels, make sure your tractor has them. That's the tip, that's it. Tire pressure is the next thing we need to discuss. We recommend six to eight PSI on the outer wheels and eight to 10 PSI on the inner wheels. The majority of our tractors are running all-terrain tires. So when you have that tread pattern, just remember, eight tires, eight PSI. Now we're gonna go back to the tractor and go over some safety and operational controls. The first thing to point out is never leave your tractor parked on a hill like this. If you read the manual, it'll clearly state, always leave your tractor parked on a stable, level surface. Uh, since this video is a little bit about both showing you what to do and what not to do, we can show this, uh, but it'll showcase some of the features we're talking about a little bit better as well. So, first, the safety things are obviously the most important, uh, and of those, ROPS and seat belt. So your ROPS always needs to be up, and seat belt always goes on. The third safety feature is a slope gauge, and that'll give you a visual readout and an audible alarm so that you know exactly where you are at all times, what degree of hill you're operating on, and you know if you're getting close to or exceeding the limits of the tractor. Next, we wanna talk about operational things. So from the operator seat, you can see here, this is your drive lever. So if you have a mower deck on, you're mowing a hillside, you always wanna be in the float position. That way the attachment is contacting the ground and it's providing as consistent traction as possible. That also works with, and in conjunction with, weight transfer. And that setting is over here on the left side of the tractor. You'll have to adjust this on level ground with the attachment up in the air. But you can see here, it's in setting number four, which is the maximum amount of weight transfer. And that's what you want for mowing a hill because you'll have the most traction possible to give you the best operational results. Also, another important thing you need to make sure of before you operate on a hill is that your fuel tank is full and it never gets lower than half a tank. Because if you're going too long continuously in one direction, it's possible that uh, if you're too low in your fuel tank that you might not suck enough fuel up and you could potentially stall the tractor. The first operational test we're gonna do is to put the tractor in high range and try to climb this 30 degree hill and then after that, we'll put it in low range and show you the difference. What you saw there is in high range, the tractor made it part way up the hill and then the drive lever became a lot harder to push and the engine started to strain. That's the point where you need to get the feel for the lever and understand that if you hit that point, you need to back back down the hill, put it in low range, and then you'll be able to climb the hill with no extra effort on the lever or on the engine RPMs. The next thing we're gonna show is weight transfer on versus off. The first thing I'll do is have weight transfer completely on the best way to show this will be to go sideways and I'll just drive towards the camera and you'll see the tractor, it's a little bit wet today so you'll probably see a little bit of crab steer but not a whole lot. And then I'll do it again, I'll do the same loop and I'll take weight transfer completely off and you should see the tractor drift down the hill as I'm driving across it.
Understanding weight transfer and the float function is critical to operating your Ventrac on hillsides. As you can see by the test, having weight transfer fully on, the Ventrac performed remarkably better than having weight transfer fully off. Thank you for watching this video on how to set your Ventrac tractor up for mowing on hillsides. If there are any other tips you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below.